Hi guys and welcome to Motobeam. Among the G310 siblings, it's definitely the GS which is the one to buy. In fact, majority of sales come from this motorcycle for BMW. Why is it so? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you four pros and four cons of this motorcycle. Without doubt, it is the design of this motorcycle which is extremely attractive. Right from traditional off-road elements seen on BMW Enduro motorcycles, this machine actually looks like a bigger motorcycle than it actually is. It does take a lot of inspiration from its bigger siblings. The BMW G310 GS is an off-road motorcycle and it can go off-road because it gets a long travel suspension, off-size tires and these tires are actually dual purpose. If you want a sofa on a motorcycle, this is the one to buy because seating comfort is just next level. It's extremely comfortable. You can go the long haul on this machine. What makes this motorcycle even more attractive than it is, is the BMW logo on this machine. Yes, it is one of the cheapest BMW motorcycles you can buy in the world. However, as much as we enjoyed taking this motorcycle off-road, there are certain things not to like. Here are four cons of the BMW G310 GS. The engine of this motorcycle feels kind of underpowered considering this bike does cost a lot. Yes, it's a single cylinder engine and actually lacks punch on the highway. While this motorcycle is quite pricey, it misses out on features which are available on motorcycles half the price. Yes, there are no LEDs, there is no projector headlight either and it also misses out on a slipper clutch. Now when you look at this motorcycle, you might believe that this can actually go the long haul and yes it can but you have to keep stopping at fuel stations because the fuel tank on this motorcycle, although it does look big, is kind of small. The 310 GS is an expensive motorcycle. It costs 4.4 lakhs on road Mumbai. At this price, you do expect a lot. You are indeed paying the BMW premium over here. And that premium is not only in terms of acquisition costs, but also in terms of service costs. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it the thumbs up. That's a like button and also subscribe to the Hey Faisal, why pay double when you can get this at half the price? Because this is a BMW motorcycle. That is a Royal Enfield. But well, they have improved this motorcycle. So there's only one way to clear this off-road dilemma by comparing both these machines. Stay tuned.